Hi guys. I hope you guys are having a really great day thus far because this battle will put you in a terrible, terrible, terrible mood. Because <laughs> every time I watch it, I lose a little bit of my soul. There's a little bit of my soul. This battle is the reason why I have to take breaks between Pokemon and I can't just keep playing Pokemon all the time. This is- this battle is the reason why. This battle is the reason why you, to remain healthy and sane in any way you need to take breaks from Pokemon. Um, so my team is just a bunch of Pokemon that I really wanted to use and Tino's team is a bunch of OU Pokemon and a Mega Aerodactyl and a Nidoking. I don't really know where Slowbro is, but he should be fucking OU. Fuck Slowbro, first of all. That is the number one thing. Fuck Slowbro. I hate Slowbro. And you guys will see why. So, Mamoswine is an obvious lead for me, so I like to open with my Metacham. Um, I like opening Metacham because it's pretty much a free Mega Evolution no matter what with Fake Out. So that's exactly what I'm gonna go for right here. And he switches in. Oh, he switches in that Slowbro, you sly son of a bitch. Look at him. Look at his stupid fucking face with stupid ears that look like fucking Princess Leia buns. Fuck you. Ah. So I'm gonna switch in my U here. And this um, is a Cresselia that was actually made for me from my friend Matt. Thank you so much, Matt. And every time I see his name, I think of you, Baba. Anyway, I go for the Grass Knot because, of course, if Slowbro stays in, that'd be awesome. But I figured he'd want to switch into Greninja to take a Toxic, and he does. So the Grass Knot was the most um, optimal option. I'm gonna go for the Moon Blast in case his Greninja wants to stay and go for a Dark Pulse. He switches in his uh, Conkledur and that thing is Assault Vested. And Cresselia has no special attack, so that's not gonna do anything. Right there, I get the Hurricane Miss, and he gets the um, Will-O-Wisp from my Flame Body. I'm like, well, shit. I mean, I knew, I know both of those were bound to happen, but in the same damn turn, this is one lucky, lucky man. I'm really surprised I lived that Ice Punch, especially with my Evil Light knocked off, but that's just how boss fucking Donald is. Anyway, he's gonna switch in. Um, I really thought he'd try to go for a Mock Punch, but I, I'm pretty sure I would have lived it anyway, so I got a free roost regardless. I'm gonna get the Toxic off on here, because he is gonna go for the Hone Claws, and definitely kill me with this Stone Edge. So that is a dead Donald. I'm so sorry, Donald. Anyway, I'm gonna bring in my Raph Scallion because I have Aqua Jet and I am Choice Banded. I'm pretty sure that would kill. I didn't really bother with Calx this one, so I'm kind of just going off my gut with most with the, um, most of these damage thingy bobbers. Um, I'm gonna bring in my Vocal Rona right here for Death Water, but he ended up going for the Thunder Wave. I was thinking he might go for Thunder Wave, so I really should have just went right back into my Cresselia so I could have saved Vocal Rona for later on. Anyway, he's gonna bring in his Ditto right here, and that's fine for me, because even though I am at half health, uh, Ditto doesn't get the HP when he um, transforms, so I'm definitely gonna win this duel even though I am at significantly less health than he is. I really thought he would switch out because of that, so I went for a side shock the first turn, and he goes, on the he goes with the Moon Blast, so I'm like, well, okay, I guess he's staying in, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and spam Moon Blast. Um, anyways, I'm bringing in his Nidoking, and Nidoking is definitely gonna finish me off where I was at, but I can bring in Metachamp and go for a Psycho Cut, so thank god that is Nidoking out of the way. His team is fucking scary, and I'm just getting rid of these guys. <laughs> Slowbro! Oh, I hate you, Slowbro! Ugh. Okay, here, let me pause that. Whoa, whoa, what, 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 did you see all that, guys? Did you see all that? Let's go back one more time, one more time, one more time. Here, let me explain really quick. I was thinking I could bring in my tor uh, Torpedo, my Sharpedo, Tank a Scald and then be able to spam crunches pretty much for the win. And if anybody lives, I could just go for um, fake outs, bullet punches, and ice shards and, and all that stuff. But he gets a critical hit and he gets the fucking burn. Fuck you, Slurbo. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You think you're so damn great, Slurbo. You think you're so damn great. Well, you know what? You just won the award for the most fuckery of fuckers of fuck town and fuck you, asshole. I hate you, Slowbro. I hate you so damn much. I really wish I didn't get that burn. Um, but another thing I was thinking is I probably should have just foddered off one of my other Pokemon and just brought in uh, Sharpedo safely instead because I was thinking that being burned uh, was something that was definitely going to happen knowing my luck, but I was really hoping that it wouldn't happen. But it did, and it was a crit because I'm pretty sure I would have been able to tank two of those. So that really freaking blows, otherwise the Slurbo would have been out of the way and I actually would have been able to win this battle. Um, but with his Slurbo still so fucking healthy, it's gonna be really difficult um, for me to win, especially with just a Mamoswine. Oh, just kidding, Mamoswine's dead now! Especially with just a Metacham. 
<laughs> so I'm just gonna go for the fake out for damage, um, and I'm gonna go for the drain punches right here. But guess what? He has slack off, and he's just gonna slack it all off. So, so silly, so silly. And he's gonna go for the thunder wave. I can't believe it. He should have just went for double skulls, and probably with his luck, he probably would have just gotten the burn. Because this going for the thunder wave, in my opinion, was almost throwing the game um, for Tino. Because going, I was able to get off so many drain punches on slow road, get a shit ton of health, and now I actually have a chance of still winning this battle because I could either go for one drain punch um, or I could go for two bullet punches but I got paralyzed my first turn because I decided to go for double bullet punches and I got paralyzed oops but I got paralyzed um, uh, my first turn so I wasn't able to go for the double bullet punches but had I not been paralyzed and also assuming I wouldn't be paralyzed the next turn I actually would have won the battle so there's that oh freaking RNG man it's so 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 frustrating but it's battles like these that really make me feel like uh, moves like Roost, Slack Off, Recover, any recovery moves I think should have lower PP. I think having 16 PP is way too much and I think it really should get nerfed. Honestly I think it should be 3 and then 5 with PP max or maybe 5 with 8 PB max, but let me know what you guys think about that. I actually wasn't even sure how many slack offs he used, it probably wasn't even 3 or 5, but either way, I just really think it's silly how so many really, really, really dominant tanks get such great recovery moves, and like, like Chansey and Blissey with the soft boil, ew, don't even get me started, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and um, yeah, let me know what you guys think, I love you guys, bye! And fuck you, Tino, but you know what? I love you, but still, fuck you.